put your phone in the rack, please? It is the principal of the school saying that no cell phones in classrooms. I think some kids are used to having it all the time. I think students, families, our entire community is on board. No, I think I'd agree that it's like kind of a distraction to just have it there. So you go into classrooms and you see kids who are a lot more engaged. They're now having to really talk with each other. I feel like you don't need to lock up my phone. You'll get it back at the end of the day. It's just your phone. We decided um, with the help of teachers last year to go ahead and um, enforce the code of conduct, which is cell phones are not disrupting classrooms. So we started last year going back to school with cell phone pockets in each room. And we enforced it and worked on enforcing that rule all year last year. If, if it's an emergency, like, yeah, you'd want to have it. But I mean, if you're in class, you don't really need it on you. So it's fine. I wouldn't say it's affecting me too much. It's really nice, actually, because I won't, I'm not tempted to grab my phone because it's up in a pouch. Morning, morning. It's been going well. You know, our kids have really come in and understood the process and procedures that we have in place. Um, they can tell that they've been distracted, so that they understand our system in place. Once they come into the classroom, the cell phones go right into the lockbox, and they enjoy distraction-free learning. All right, does anybody have their phone? We've had a really great kind of first couple weeks with it. The kids have fallen to the protocols and the systems we have. Our teachers have been consistent with what we're doing across the building so that every teacher, teacher understands the importance of it's our system. We have to follow it down to the letter to make sure our kids understand what we're trying to do. At first, I thought it was a little annoying that I had to put up my cell phone in every class since I didn't use it that much last year. But now that I'm seeing the full effect of it, I feel like it helps everybody in the classroom kind of focus, you know? It just protects the academic environment. It uh, helps us to rely on engaging lessons and having students be a part of everything that's going on. It's not a big deal because like, I don't know why people need to be on their phones. Like, what are you doing? Like, aren't you supposed to be like paying attention? I think too many kids are obsessed with their phones and it's causing problems um, between friends and making new friends. And I think people really need that social aspect in their lives. I think limiting cell phone use really helps students uh, develop those skills of face-to-face -face interaction and um, just communication, collaboration with each other, and not relying on texting, social media, Snapchatting, or whatever else they're doing. It's okay, like, it's nothing too bad, but... Turn your brain on before you turn your pencil on. What people who've been around a long time know is that the Code of Conduct has always said the same thing, which is that cell phones are at the teacher's discretion for instructional purposes. And so pre-COVID, we were enforcing that rule every day um, in high schools across the county. And then during COVID, it got looser because kids were learning at home. And then it took uh, a while to get things back on track with the actual rules in the Code of Conduct and what, what that looks like in a classroom. We've tried to be very clear and deliberate about the times that they can have their cell phones. So they can have their phones at the end of the instructional day. They can have them doing transitions, uh, not when they're on the pass though. So if you're in class and you're going to the restroom, for example, you cannot get your phone back. But in between our transitions from class to class, you can have your cell phone, be able to check in when you need to, and understand that we need to be focused in classrooms. Just keeping it in the pocket, it feels easier for me. And anyways, we can use it during lunch if we ever just want to like hang out with friends. So then like lunchtime or when we're switching through classes, when we get to look at our phone, it feels like a sort of reward for completing the class. I think clarity of the rules and the consequences has really improved and students know what to expect if they have their cell phone out during classes. So it's not anything new, it's just us reinforcing something that used to be enforced. Additional pros and cons of moving towards the 